this release, we believe, will bring us another step forward in the leadership role that we have taken in analytics and bring it closer to the transactional world so you can iterate strategy and execution and follow up in a much more dynamic way. Very important point. What is the key that we're trying to do in the on-premise world? Well, we're basically trying to do two things at the same time. On one side, we want to make these on-premise solutions more easy to consume. What does that mean? I take you one example. If you install a CRM system on-premise today, you typically spend nine months, 12 months, <coughs> configuring the software and defining how your process should look like. Now, the alternative to that today is an on-demand world where it takes nine to 12 hours because you don't get to configure anything. And that limits your choices, no doubt, but it's very fast. We said to ourselves, why couldn't we make this on-premise software easier to consume? And we can do that if we take an approach which is a best practice approach, which means we start by defining what is the best practice for order to cash in industry so-and-so. We define that based on all of the experiences we have from many, many customer interactions, and we pre-configure that in the software. We know how to pre-configure software because we do it all the time in the SME space with All-in-One, where we install the whole suite in a couple of months. So we did that for CRM, and recently we launched these rapid deployment solutions. There are a couple for CRM, um, and I was pleased to see that we actually won a case against a traditional on-demand player, Salesforce, where our benefit was TCO, which is counterintuitive to what we have seen in the past. Why? Because with the rapid deployment solution for CRM, the pre-configuration based on the best practice, we were able to implement CRM connected to ERP in six to nine weeks, not six to nine months. So there is opportunities to make the on-premise world significantly faster, but it requires a different approach also from you, our customers. If you start the process like I sometimes do with my son for Christmas, where you say, what would you like to have? It's gonna be expensive. So you have to start the other way and say, here's the best practice. What don't you like about that? Then you can shrink wrap the whole process to six to nine weeks instead of months. And that's what we are now rolling out. You will see us delivering rapid deployment solutions for many, many parts of the suite. You go and pick your part, you get a very rapid deployment. And then you can always fine tune it later. Now the difference is that you can actually manage the configuration. You don't get limited like in the on-demand world. You get free to do what exactly you want, but you get a very fast start. The other thing we do is to try and um, take some very disruptive technology like in-memory computing and deliver it without disruption for the install base. This was a um, very interesting challenge that we gave to the engineers. We said, okay, in-memory computing changes everything, but could you stop changing everything we have installed? and come up with a way to deliver this massive performing technology in non-disruptive ways for the customer. And they came up with a brilliant idea. This was conceptualized in March this year. They said, why don't we take and install an appliance next to the business suite? This is a box, not so big, lots of main memory. And we connect it to the business suite, to ERP or whatever you have in the business suite. And we simply real-time copy all transactions. So now what you have is no change of what you have, but you have a box next to it that has all your data in main memory. Now think what we can do. This is without changing any line of code in what you have. It allows you to take benefits of in-memory computing. Now why is in-memory computing so fascinating? Well, it's a combination of three things. It's about Size of memory, where you can now get tera, terabyte, uh, teradata bytes of, of tera, terabytes of data in main memory. Actually, we have boards with two terabytes. You can put four, uh, 10 boards in a, in a computer. So you can understand that this technology is really where you can have very, very large data volumes. Secondly, we have found a way to compress data, factor 10 at least. So a 20 terabyte database now becomes a two terabyte database. And thirdly, because of the 
um, these parallel processes and the, the way we store data in columns, we can read the data parallel. We can parallelize the whole analytics so that you get an un incredible speed in which you analyze this data. And it scales linear. The more cores you put on the blade, the faster it goes. We are today able to analyze retail data, which used to be 50 terabytes worth of data, in a few seconds. We read all the data. This will change the game in many industries. How you do trade promotion management in consumer products, how you do real-time risk management in a bank, etc., etc., etc. We have experiments with this technology, with this appliance, where we can prove that the price performance of analyzing any question you have in sub-second response time is about 200 times better than any existing disk-based system in the market today. Many companies talk about in-memory computing. We have chosen a pure in-memory computing path, which no one else has, which means it's pure in-memory. Most of the other systems out there are hybrid, which means something is on disk, something is on memory. We believe that's massive complexity, and hybrids have a tendency to not survive in the long run. Remember the disk man of Sony that got killed by the MP3 player, and Sony's response was a hybrid where the disk player was reading MP3 files? It didn't last that long. We will deliver this. This product was conceptualized in March. We talked about it at Sapphire, and it will ship in 11 days from now, in November this year. It is also a token of the new SAP, one where speed of innovation matters, because in the old SAP, it would also have been November, just next year. This, we believe, will be the first proof of real massive innovation coming from SAP, delivering immediate value to our install base. The second pillar is on demand. We are committed to not only enter this market, but to challenge a number of current assumptions. And with by design feature pack 2.5, which was released on time in July, we have the most modern on-demand platform in the industry today. It has in-memory computing built into the platform itself. No one else has that. It has mobility built into the platform itself. No one has that. It goes so far that if you change the name of a field in the database on the solution, which you can do yourself as a customer, all mobile devices a second later will have the new name. That's how well architected this application is. We are now in the process of going to market for the SME because we think there is a special market for on-demand where small customers who don't have the money for IT and process knowledge can consume an end-to-end -end business suite on-demand. For most of our existing customers, we rather see the other market, which is a line of business market, very narrow functional areas like sales on demand, expense on demand, talent management on demand, which link to the ERP. And that's the path we also take, built on the same platform, by the way. So a whole suite for running the entire business, as well as very narrow functional scope areas where you can go instant value on demand and still have it integrated to your existing SAP. The third item is the on-device, the Pamela Anderson part. This is where Sybase comes in and becomes a very important part in terms of an acquisition. Sybase has today the Sybase on-wire platform. It is a very solid, robust, and secure mobile platform that enables you to consume data and processes, either from on-premise or on-demand, and bring it to the mobile device. We are taking that Sybase on wire platform, which in most cases today are used for custom build, and making it SAP aware so it knows the objects, it knows the services, enterprise services of the back end, and we build an SDK on top of it so that you get a development kit so you can build your own mobile experiences on top of SAP without a lot of efforts, and with that, reach more people with delightful user experiences. We will naturally do the same. 
So you will see more and more mobile experiences coming out as part of the business suite, as part of by design, as part of the line of business on demand solutions, leveraging this technology as well. But we give you the tools in addition. We also give the partners the tools. And with that, we commit to the openness. We commit to innovation. And we would very much like to become the business mobile company in this world, where today the mobile world is about consumers. And I frankly don't believe this world will be much more productive because we can consume videos and have Facebook on the mobile. I do believe, however, that if we, if we could make business transactions happen on mobile devices and people get the right information at the right moment in time and co can collaborate to do their job better, you will see a change in improvement in this world. So that is very, very important. And you see us, um, Sapphire next year, launching the Sybase wired on, plat uh, on wired platform for consuming SAP with an SDK on top. We'll use it in internally with partners. And you will see an explosion of the mobile experiences on top of SAP. And finally, of course, the orchestration. Now, a lot has been said around consistency and orchestration. We do believe that at the end of the day, it is probably the most important differentiator that SAP has against any collection of acquired pieces in the market today. And we see consistency in two ways. First of all, we are committed to build our own pieces in such a way that they always fit together, whether they were built on premise, on demand, or for on-device consumption, they are designed to fit together. With that, we take a big burden away in terms of the costs. And we don't assume everything is SAP. So we will have orchestration tools like master data synchronization, like lifecycle management, like business process management, so that you can have your end-to-end -end business running in a consistent way, leveraging SAP where that is relevant and non-SAP where that is relevant. With this approach, we differentiate because our pieces are designed to fit together. And we become the open choice where we offer choice to our customers where others are trying to block them and lock them up in a proprietary stack. We think that's a wrong strategy. We would rather innovate with our customers and offer choice. 